you say Yes, it's that time again It's Tech Tuesday Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday This is Chad from Ascension Worship And this week we're going to talk about DSers. Um, DSer is exactly what it sounds like It's something that removes the sound of S's uh, from a signal path. So um, let's take a quick look at what I've got here. I've got an example of me saying a phrase with a lot of S's in it. Sounds like this. Slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes slither south. That's true. They do. Um, so one, there's a lot of S's in that signal. And then two, that was the unprocessed signal. Once I throw in a little bit of EQ and compression, um, unfortunately, it's going to bring out more of those S's. I'm putting in some EQ to get rid of some of the low-end rumble, but also to boost a little bit of the top end because I want a little bit more air. Um, but I don't necessarily want to EQ out all the S's because it might make my voice sound funny when I'm not saying S's. Uh, and then the compression, uh, if we remember what compression does, it turns down the louder, louder bits, but then turns the entire signal up um, so because the S is pretty soft, it's becoming louder in the end because it doesn't carry as much energy as the rest of what is being said. Um, so with the, uh, the compression and EQ on there, it sounds like this. Slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes slither south. And here it's just, uh, it's pretty hot in the S's. So what we're looking at today is the, uh, de -er, um, plugin from Waves. It's really simple. Um, now, if you're not using Waves plugins, that's fine. Uh, I'm just using this for a visual, but the same settings are going to apply to pretty much any DSer that you have in a recording program or a live digital mixer. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a threshold. As I lower this down, what it's doing is it's focusing on a certain frequency band, um, which is set over here. So in this case, it's 5,500 frequency um, that we're looking at. And as I turn that down, you can see this is showing me um, the S's that are happening in that frequency range. As I turn that down, as this lowers, it's going to push down just that frequency range. Um, and it's going to do that as a shelf because we can see over here that it is set as a uh, high shelf. Um, so it's like we're just taking the, the high knob and just turning it down every time someone hits an S. Um, so what I'm going to do for the purpose of this example I'm going to turn the signal back on. I'm going to slam the threshold down so it does way too much. We're going to remove all the S's um, even when we shouldn't. And then we're going to raise it up and kind of find a good happy uh, middle ground there. Slither south. Some snakes slither south. So that's obviously too much. Some snakes slither south. So raise it back up. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes. So that's probably a pretty good spot right there. So I'm going to just A, B that. I'm going to turn it on and off. And you can hear what's going on. South. Some so snakes on. slither south. Some and snakes off. slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some off. snakes slither south. Some snakes on. slither south. Some snakes turn down a little bit more. slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes slither south. Some snakes slither so that can make a, pr a pretty big difference, especially if you're in a room where uh, it's pretty reflective and you might have a lot of S's going on anyway. A lot of female vocals will uh, will benefit from having uh, this on there. Um, if you're, this is just some spoken word right now, but if someone's singing, um, a lot of times their S's are again going to pop out because there's so much energy behind the other things that they're saying. So really useful trick. Um, give it a try. Make sure you don't overdo it because it will sound like someone has like a clothespin on their tongue or something. But in small amounts, this is a really useful trick. And uh, like I said, most digital mixers have that on there. So uh, give it a try. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Come back here next week for new information. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.